Indicted Republican George Santos' brief career in the U.S. House of Representatives ended on December 1, when fellow lawmakers voted to expel him over criminal corruption charges and accusations of misspending campaign money, the House voted 311 to 114 to immediately remove the controversial freshman lawmaker, above the two-thirds majority required to oust one of its own. Besieged by revelations of lies about his past, a federal criminal indictment and a congressional ethics probe, Santos, 35 became only the sixth member to be expelled from the House. The New York congressman was the first to be kicked out without having fought for the Confederacy or being convicted of a crime. He should have been thrown out the first time he admitted that he committed fraud. First of all, he was stealing from everybody. Second, he's not a very reliable person. And third, he's a cheater. So he, we don't want cheaters in our House of Representatives. Thank you. I think he's an idiot and I think that he shouldn't, he should be out of office because he's an idiot. So that's all I have to say. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, to, first of all, just to lie about your resume, to misuse campaign funds, I mean, the list goes on and on. It's all out yeah. there, you know. I think we, we have to start calling egregious behavior uh, politicians yeah. for what they're doing, yeah. really. It's, it's time and we need to have a new crop of people who really will sacrifice themselves for the truth and for, you know, not only the national good, but the global common good. We're at that point in, in um, existence. Every last one of us has struggled with every little ounce of what happens within public service. I didn't come here. I can go and read about all my colleagues. I'm not going to stand here to smear them. I'm not going to stand here and use the time I have to say ill things about my colleagues. I refuse to stoop to that level. Well, the only thing I want to make clear is if tomorrow when this vote is on the floor, it is in the conscience of all of my colleagues that they believe that this is the correct thing to do, so be it. Take the vote. I'm at peace. I have accepted that whether I get expelled or I don't, I, I have accepted that I cannot control that faith, Mr. Speaker. I have done the best I can to serve in this body and to deliver the best I can in my campaign promises to vote as a conservative voice in this body. I stand by that.